Good morning, everyone. My name is Kristen, and I am the education director here at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit sea turtle hospital in South Padre Island, Texas. We have a three tier mission here to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles so we can release them back out into the wild. We also educate the public and work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So I apologize, this video is going to be a little dark today. It is a really rainy day here on South Padre Island, but we want to do a little live because we actually got a new patient that came in yesterday so I wanted to introduce you guys to this turtle um, we have not had very many turtles in our hospital over the course of this summer which is good um, but spooky is our fourth patient that we have at our facility right now so I'm gonna spin the camera around so you guys can see what spooky looks like Spooky is a little green sea turtle who was found yesterday by one of our staff members, Emma. And this turtle weighs around seven pounds, so a pretty small patient. And Spooky was actually stuck in the rocks out at Boca Chica. So something that's becoming a lot more common in this area are turtles that get stuck in the rocks. For those of you that aren't familiar with South Padre Island, the north and south end of our island is a big shipping channel and it's lined with huge granite boulders. Unfortunately, there's a lot of gaps between those rocks and there's a lot of seagrasses and algae that grow along the rock face. So when the tide is really high, juvenile green sea turtles like Spooky can get into those cracks and crevices to feed on all that seagrass. That is their primary source of food. Unfortunately, when the tide goes out, sometimes the turtles get stuck and they can get wedged pretty tightly. So if you guys take a look at Spooky, you're going to notice this big area here right in the center of Spooky's shell. This turtle was wedged so tightly in the rocks that it actually peeled the keratin layer off of its shell. Now, for those of you that have watched some of our previous Facebook Live videos, we have talked about sea turtle anatomy quite a bit. But for those of you that haven't been on those, sea turtles do have two layers to their shell. The top layer is a layer of keratin. Underneath that is a layer of bone. So you guys can see the bony layer here really, really well. And you'll see this line down the center. That is where the turtle's spine is. So keratin is the same material as your fingernails. So fortunately, even though Spooky is missing a big chunk of keratin, eventually this area will start to heal and that keratin will begin to grow back. You guys will also notice that Spooky has some scrapes here, some soft tissue damage on the turtle's flipper. So one way that we treat these injuries is with cold laser therapy. It's a laser that emits light and it helps promote cell growth and it helps speed up the recovery time for these animals. Spooky is in an isolation tank at the moment, so it's a pretty small tank. You guys will notice right here it says collect fecal. We do fecal analysis on all of our patients and the reason we do that is because we need to see if these turtles have parasites whenever they come into the hospital. That is something that can happen and it is natural out in the environment, but we want to make sure that if a patient comes in and a parasite is present, we aren't passing that parasite on to the turtles that we already have here at our facility. So we are waiting for Spooky to poop so we can look at that poop underneath the microscope. And if a parasite is present, we will treat that with antibiotics. And if not, we will be able to add Spooky out to one of our large rehabilitation tanks on the main floor. So if you guys do have any questions about Spooky or our hospital, feel free to type them into the comment bar. I totally forgot to ask where everybody was tuning in from, so I see some of you commenting already. Uh, you're from Arizona. We have Ruby again from Naples, Florida. We also have somebody from Minnesota tuning on, so thank you guys so much for getting on our Facebook Live. I want to stay here in the clinic with Spooky so you guys can get a little up close view of this turtle. Uh, Spooky, if you guys do come visit our facility, uh, Spooky is kind of set far away from our window here in the clinic. So it's a little hard to see this turtle, which is why we wanted to do a live for you guys today. I see some of you, uh, Meridian, Texas, Virginia, North Carolina. Thank you guys so much for hopping on our live. Our facility is open to the public, but we are back at our off season hours. 
So we are open from 10 until 4, but we do stop selling tickets at 315. Uh, if you guys are interested in visiting our facility, keep in mind we do still have restrictions in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19. So we are requiring masks throughout our facility, whether you guys are indoors or out. And those masks have to be worn by everyone ages 5 and up. Um, and we are also reducing the amount of people that can go into our gift shop at one time. And we're only taking cards. All right, I see some questions coming in. I also see some people. Let's see, we have Kentucky, Nevada, Michigan, Aledo, more Texas people. Oh, somebody commented they hopped on a little late, so they missed what happened to Spooky. Spooky actually was found yesterday by Emma, one of our staff members here, and this turtle was stuck in the rocks down at our shipping channel, which is why this turtle's missing, this huge chunk of keratin in the back of its shell. Whenever they're wedged really tightly, when we pull them out, of the rocks sometimes it does peel that keratin back a lot of people ask if that does more damage to the turtle it doesn't um, if we were to leave t the turtles in these conditions chances are when the tide goes up if they are wedged in those rocks they can potentially drown so it's always best for us to get them out um, I see, see some more people from Texas Washington Victoria San Antonio Kansas Austin awesome uh, I see some uh, Stephanie said that she had fun on our visit in August Thank you guys for hopping on this live and for coming to visit our facility in person. I have, we have lots of our um, volunteers on this live too. So thank you guys for hopping on. All right. We have some local people from Mission, somebody from Floresville, Pennsylvania, Iowa. Awesome. So a question coming in from Ruby. How many layers are in the turtle shell? That is a good question. So the, it is made up of two layers. The keratin layer that you guys will see here with this pretty pattern. And then underneath that is a layer of bone. Good question, Ruby. I see Brad commenting from Houston. He's on his way to Padre and is going to be coming in this weekend. So we're excited to see you, Brad. Make sure you guys keep in mind all of those restrictions that I just mentioned. And Make sure you guys bring your masks when you come visit us this weekend. Hopefully the weather stays nice. It is a rainy day here on South Padre today, but this cold front is coming in and we're all pretty excited for that. Um, it's about mid seventies right now here on the island. So we're really excited. It's been pretty hot here lately. All right, so if you guys do have any last questions, feel free to type them into the comment box. A question coming in from Lindsay is, can that keratin part grow back? Yes, it can. So just like if you guys were to lose a fingernail, eventually that fingernail will grow back again. The same thing happens with the turtle shell. It does just take time. Uh, we never release a patient with exposed bone like this. So as this turtle starts to heal, we will do more lives to give you guys updates, of course, but this area will start to turn whitish in color, and that would be the fresh, healthy tissue that's growing. Um, so it, it's going to take a little bit before that starts to happen. But we are confident Ruby will make a full recovery. Uh, Brandy is asking where we are located. We are in South Padre Island, Texas. Ah, and Ruby's little sister, Georgia, wants to know if we know how old Spooky would be. So that is a good question. Now, we don't know the turtle's exact ages, but we can estimate based on the size. So I mentioned earlier that Spooky is around 7 pounds. Full-grown green sea turtles can get to be up to 500. So Spooky has a lot of growing left to do. To give you guys perspective, here's my hand here um, right next to Spooky's shell. So I would estimate that this turtle is anywhere between four to six years old again that's just an estimate um, but this turtle is very young lots of growing left to do uh, Brad is asking how long for the keratin to grow back. It depends. Um, I mentioned earlier about our cold laser therapy. So for those of you that just hopped on, uh, one way that we treat injuries on our sea turtle patients is using cold laser therapy, which is something that's also used in human hospitals too. So what that cold laser does is emits a light and it actually uh, reduces inflammation and pain and it helps promote cell growth. So this injury will heal a little bit faster than what it would on its own. Um, I will anticipate that Spooky will most likely be here probably through winter um, and most likely release sometime in the spring. 
Good questions, guys. <laughs> Spooky is pretty active, which is good. Keeps coming up to take a breath there. All right. So I'm going to end this Facebook Live. My hair is a little crazy because it was really rainy this morning. Um, but we are open right, we're, we're going to be opening here soon. Um, so if you guys are on the island, feel free to come out and visit us. We will continue doing presentations on the half hour through the winter time. So 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. .30. So if you guys want to learn about turtles and what we do here at our facility, feel free to come on site. We will continue doing Facebook Lives about once a week um, if we get a chance. So thank you guys so much for hopping on with us today and we hope that we continue seeing you guys on our Facebook lives and of course here in our facility one last question I just saw come in is from Danny is he in any pain um, imagine it's not comfortable to have that keratin layer ripped off with how active spooky is I don't think he's in that much pain and we're excited to see Eddie visiting us this afternoon so that's gonna be awesome I'm excited that you guys are able to come see these turtles in person uh, thank you guys so much for hopping on with us and I hope you have an awesome rest of your Thursday and a great weekend thank you guys